actress. She is in Chicago PD, which is Wednesdays on NBC. Sophia Bush, everybody. Sophia Bush. <laughs> You look great. Thanks. I mean, uh, wow. Thanks. I wore this just for you. Thank so you. So I could match your mug. That, it's a snake brace. Yeah. Hand, what is that? A hand bracelet? A, it's uh, a really classy handcuff. <laughs> Should we get a safety word going? How about rattle? Okay. Okay. How are you? You look great. Oh, are you great. Been, are you working out or something? Uh, well, you know, I tackle large men for a living now. Um, let me rephrase that. I play a police officer for a living now, so I run more than I used to, which was never because I loathe running. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, hard. I, I do it, but I don't enjoy it. I didn't ever do it, and now I'm forced to. Yeah. Did you go for a ride along before you started playing a cop? Did you go on a ride, like, ride along, you know, ride along? I, yeah. We, uh, we did a lot of tactical training with the intelligence unit, with the SWAT team. Really? We did some things that I'm not allowed to talk about, which were awesome. I've got... I th I've done a ton of things I'm not allowed to talk about. I've heard. You talked about a lot of them in your book, though. Which and one? I've written a couple of books. What book are we talking about? The, the bio well, you really went there in American on purpose. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, you read my, my... Oh, you read that? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah. And well. I read it before you even gave me a free copy in the dressing room. Right, yeah. That's, you're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> you should write a book. Have you read a book? I have not written a book. It's about time. My best friend just wrote a book uh, about her nonprofit. Doesn't, that doesn't and mean I wrote that you. All oh, right, okay. So I'm going to see my published. friend wrote a book. I'm like, well, that's not your writing. No. I got that. No, I didn't write the book. I just wrote the forward. Oh, to you the wrote book. the forward to the book. Yes. Oh, what, I did. what did you say? Nice things about your friend. I said lovely things about her and about women in general. How we should all be friends. Yeah. Instead good luck of with that. Bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Look, women, women can be, you know, catty and awful, but we're also really awesome. Yeah, same as men. You know, some men, men should all be friends, too, but they're not. They're douchebags. And, <laughs> and, and women should all be friends, too, but they're not. You know, I don't know what it is. Just, I think it's a certain element in both sexes that ruin it for everyone. I think there's men and there's women, and then there's just, Ay, caramba! And, Indeed. And it doesn't matter what sex they are. They just ruin it for everybody with their, Arr. Ego. Is it ego? Is that what ruins it, you think? I think it's fear. Both, actually. Yeah, I think people behave out of fear. Because and... when you're afraid, you behave from this really negative ego space. And mm. then you're... French fries! And we're right back to where we started. <laughs> and we're swearing on TV. Hey! What's that on your finger? You're really going there with the jewelry Thanks. right now. It's like an Indian wedding Anything thing. Anything that's a bit of armor or assists me in really nicely being able to punch someone in the face, hey. I like. Hey. I want to not just break your nose. I want to leave an indention so you remember me. You break my nose, I'll remember you. <laughs> no, it's nice. What else have you been up to? You been on vacation or anything? I haven't seen you in an age. Yeah, yeah. Where have I've, you been? Uh, I have been. I was just in New York, and before that, I took a trip for three weeks through the Middle East. I was in Israel, Jordan, wow. and then went to Turkey. Wow. I've been to Turkey. I've never been to any of the other places. Did Amazing. you have a, Yeah? Yeah. We, we, it's a little turbulent in... Uh, in is, you know, Jordan, I guess, is all right, isn't it? Right well, now. Jordan's a little turbulent just because there's such an overflow of refugees from Syria. Syria, right. In, in all the surrounding countries. And uh, that was part of the reason that I went to start figuring out how to use all the wonderful resources that, you know, we all have at hand and the great friends I have who run amazing humanitarian organizations. And how do we make a difference? And how do we make the right difference? You know, it's interesting. I, 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 get a lot, I hear a lot of actresses saying that. With you, though, it actually seems like it's true. Because I, I, you know, you seem to, you know, I mean, you actually go to these places and. Well, and I'm do, not. What's a camera go? You know, you're not. You're really not. And yeah, I, I can't tell you how refreshing that is. Thank you. Um, but <laughs> all, uh, all, all kidding aside, yeah, for me, it's. I have a passion for people. Right. At the end of the day, and and since I was young, I've always wanted to figure out how we can all just be a little better to each other. And, you know, now to have the opportunity, like I did a few weeks ago, to travel north almost to the Syrian border and sit outside 
a refugee camp that has a quarter of a million people in it and ha and spend a day with these families and hear about what they're facing, what they're going through, what it is they need. Um, the thing that always really impacts me the most is when you go into any sort of situation like that, mm -hmm. the first bit of feedback you get is how grateful people are that anyone's listening. Yes, uh, yeah, because I think the, the, the terrifying thing is for a lot of people is to be forgotten, mm -hmm. you know, to be left in, in, in danger and in, in, in difficulties and to be forgotten that no help is going to arrive. Yeah, and we, and we can't forget about people. There right. is no us and them. Do, are, you, are you from a, I mean, you seem very moral. Uh, I, shouldn't you be in a different business? You know, I, I, I was 20 when I started working and maybe I fell into it by accident, but for me, the way I look at it is I'm passionate about my job because I get to tell stories. Yes. I want to tell authentic and interesting and And, and you get to go right stories. along. You get to go on a ride along. I get to you go know, on a ride, ride along. along yeah. uh, and, I, and I sort of, by happenstance, now have this wonderful digital megaphone through which I get to talk about things that are you going on. You have a digital megaphone? I do. It's called Twitter. Oh, Twitter. I was just talking about Twitter. Are you on the, uh, you, are you busy on the Tweety? Are you, yeah. Uh, uh... Tweety and I have a love affair. Never like ours, but it, you know, exists. Steady. Easy. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Sophia Bush, everybody. <laughs> Chicago. You shoot it in Chicago? Chicago. Yeah? Yeah. That's a great town. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Sophia Bush. We're talking about Chicago, right? That was Chicago PD. You make it in Chicago? We do. Oh, I like Chicago. Right out there, Lake Oprah, just sitting out there in the sunshine. Yeah. It's nice. I know. I'm hoping the big secret behind your conscious, your conscious uncoupling is that you're going to come and move into Harpo and, you know. Do a show from Chicago? With us. I wish. Wouldn't yeah, that be fun? yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. out anytime. Yeah, well, that's one guest. <laughs> No, I, I love Chicago. In the winters, though, it's a little rough. Have you been there in the winter? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. We You're saying that like something kind of naughty happened. No. No, just something vile, like when it's 35 below and you're yeah. outside in a leather jacket because you're a cool cop. Yeah. I finally was like, I don't care how cool I'm supposed to look. If I don't get a parka, I'm going to fall over and die in the snow. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably not going to work for the series unless they, they'd idea. have to write around it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when they write around actresses that get pregnant. I love that. You see women just, <laughs> they're sta standing hey up guys. next to things. Hey, how you doing? It's great to be part of the dance troupe one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you are. We're out of time. That was it. Yeah. Why? You disappointed? I mean, I don't really want to leave yet. Yeah, well. That's all she wrote. I'll, uh, I'll text you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean, you know, there's, you know... It's not you, it's me. It's a thing, you know. Hmm. Conscious. Conscious uncoupling? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know either. It sounds nice. Nah, it sounds like, what's that coming to go? <laughs> That's it. What's that coming to go? Yeah, you don't? I can? Or I can't? I can't say, what's a coming ago? Really? Well, I, I might as well just say, ooh, rubbish then, if I can't yeah. say that. Can you believe I can't say that? I'm sorry. It's okay. What, what are you sorry for? Are you part of this? No, I just, I feel your pain. No, don't worry. Because be we fine. play Chicago Cops and we can't say Rocket. on the air and it's tough. <laughs> just did it. I don't know, there's something about ooh. you saying it. It sounded a lot better than that. <laughs> sounded a lot better than it does when I say it. I disagree. You have the accent, which yeah. is all that us Americans care about. No, no. Believe me. <laughs> that one landed right there. <laughs> Sophia Burns, everybody. We're right.